making a mini foundry. We're gonna try to melt some aluminum cans in order to make aluminum sheets for a custom overflow tank for my truck. All right, guys, so I've made my mini foundry. It's glowing red hot in the middle. You can't see it, but there are some cans in there already. Watch this. This is cool. Ooh, that's close to the phone. Melts right down into nothing. That's like four cams so far. And you can't really tell what's going on inside through the camera. But... I'm starting to build a pile and then once I get a, a bunch in there I'll dump it out into this tray and try to make some sheets Let's see if I can melt this stuff this is aluminum threshold covering I'm gonna see what happens when I put it in there It's not melting at all. Well, I'll let you know when I get about 50 cans in there. Okay, so this is cool. I'm starting to get an actual puddle of metal inside here. Push it down. That's not toxic, I swear. <coughs> but I counted out fifty cans, so We'll see what I got then, and if I think I need more, then I'll do another 50. But I need to get enough to fill this tray an eighth of an inch thick. Okay. So yeah, we probably got about 60 cans in there. 
going red hot of goodness. Can't really see in there, but let's cut this off for now. Let's grab this guy without burning ourselves. Okay. Let's see if we can pour it in here. Well, that is cool. Oh, that's not cool. Hmm. Interesting. Well, at least it was fun. Here's what I got out of it. I kind of had to destroy the tray. The uh, nasty bits that you saw fall out at the end was kind of like the the impurities or whatever that were that float to the top usually and that's the part that actually stuck to the tray and kind of ruined everything for me uh, on top of that it warped when I threw it in there anyway so it wouldn't have been a flat sheet um, but this is what I got out of it I mean it's a brick of aluminum Except for this end, it's kind of... Well, that ended up... Yeah, it's still thin and... Like, movable. And then there's this black stuff, all, all the grossness. And from labels or whatever it was. But this side, it turned out really nice. I mean, as far as looking clean. And when it poured out, it was all shiny, looking like the Terminator. That was really cool. I don't know if that's like a galvanized layer off of this. Because this was galvanized steel, so I don't know if that's a layer of that that got stuck to it. Uh, next time, I'm going to try using thick black steel. It'll stay flat and doesn't have any galvanized coatings on it. Well, at least I learned something. I need to figure out a way to strain it. Strain, keep this stuff from falling out like that last time. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, any ideas? Anything out there that might help? Thanks for watching.